Hi guys, so today, um, so I've had this manion and I've been trying to keep it on long enough so I could try and show you how I did it. Um, and it's freehand, which I don't have the best setup for that, but I will try to do the best I can. So we're, we're going to do this one here and I have to kind of do it upside down and backwards, but um, if we have time, we'll, we'll do this one too. So I went ahead and I prepared... Um, you know, this with True Gel. I will put the names of everything I use of my products um, in the information box for you. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to get this kind of doily look here. We wanna do that white doily look there. I'm gonna use this kind of fat dotting tool. It's pretty big. Um, and, you know, you could do the end of a brush, you know, if you have the end of a brush or you know whatever so I'm gonna do either six depending on how big your nail is too on either six or seven and do it as round as you can I don't know if I can do this upside down like this I might have to do it maybe I can do it this way so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put them in a row like go around in a circle and do them as smooth as you can and these are not going to turn out I can already tell <laughs> not great dang okay so anyway I'm gonna do six or seven of them and like I said it depends on how big your nail is too so I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm just putting some on and then I'm kind of going around in a circle to make it bigger and it doesn't have to be perfect you know if you're anal like me you can try and make it as perfect as possible but it's not try not to worry about it and so just you know get them so they pretty much touch and um, and then I'm gonna go in the middle and try not to get it too thick because you don't want to take forever to dry because you're gonna have to paint over this okay, let me look at it this way all right so it looks like I need to do a more of a circle here and there so I don't know I hope you could see that I knew this was going to be kind of tough but hopefully it's gonna hopefully you'll be able to you know see how to do it well enough that you could do it okay so I think that's that's you know it probably as good as it's gonna get so you could do much nicer than this I'm sure and, you know, if you need to do it smaller, you can do five or you can do six of those, you know, circles connected. And then just fill in the center like you saw me do. And then we're just going to let this dry a little bit. Um, and while this is drying here, we'll do the little dots around the outside of it, as you can see. And I'm going to use a smaller dotting brush for that. So I'm probably going to use, I'm going to start out using that size and then probably go to that size. I don't know, I'm gonna see which one does the dot sizes I want. So I'm gonna go ahead, maybe I should start, well, no, let's start with this one and see how big it is. Okay, so we're gonna do that and I just put it like right up. We're just gonna do it on the outside. So I hope you can see that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just do it, you know, by each in the middle approximately of each one of those circles that I, we made. Yeah, this is going to be, f <laughs> I hope this turns out good enough. The most important thing is that hopefully you'll be able to see how to do it. So we're going to do it, like I said, we're doing it right in the middle. And when you're looking at it, your direction will be a lot faster, a lot easier, a lot faster. There we go. There we go. Okay, so and you can do them closer too, you know, if you're looking at it. So I think we're going to do the smaller side now. And we'll just go in the middle. And then, you know, you can fill in as you want to. You can have it however you like the way it looks. That's the way you want to do it. So let's see. So we got a little bit more on this side to fill in. All right. So here, 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 here. And I'm just using, by the way, I'm just using white acrylic craft paint. 
Um, so real inexpensive from your craft store. And, um, and that's all I did to do that. Okay, and we're just gonna let that, we're still letting that center part dry. Because we really need that to be dry so that we can paint our flower there. Um, let's see, is there anything else we can do? Um, hmm. Probably not until that dries good enough. Yeah, because otherwise it's going to dilute our pink and mess that up. So we need to that to dry. So we'll go ahead and we'll just let this dry, dry and we'll start on the second one. Okay, so the second one is this one here. So it's without the doily. So same I did on this one. Um, and I did have this doily one on here too. And then the outside ones were these ones. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start out with the flower and we'll just do like a, you know, base. Uh, and we're going to do this pink, kind of a medium pink, I think. You know, whatever pink you like, but just so you have a contrast because we're going to go to darker after that. Okay, so uh, my brushes, I'm going to use some detail brushes and, you know, some shorter striping brushes as well. And this is Silver Ultra Mini is the brand. And I'll put all that stuff down in the information box. So we're going to go to this pink first, the medium pink I showed you. So like that. And I'm just going to, I like to do it out of my cap most of the time because then it doesn't dry as fast. So we're going to go ahead and do, I think like, uh, I don't know. Because we're just going to do a base. But I do want kind of like two or three big And then, almost like it, you could probably use the dotting tool for this too if you wanted to. But I'm just going to do it this way and kind of fill it in. And I'm going to get some water too. So this doesn't, so it looks better. Let me get some on my thing here. So when I add some water to it, just so it'll kind of flow a little bit better. And... I'm just putting it on a plastic lid. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I'm just going to kind of fill this in. This pink is not the best. So, um, oh, I know why. Because this is, I don't know if Joanne Fabrics, it's theirs. And it's kind of, it's not the best quality. I actually like Ceramcoat. is one of my favorite ones. All right. So we're going to have to let this one kind of dry out too. A little bit but anyway that just gives us a base you can see it's nothing fancy and you're gonna put other stuff so it's not completely covered perfect don't worry about it um, okay and uh, on the outside we could go ahead and do those we're gonna do the base on these other flowers too I think so this is like a big kind of like a big fat bud but it's like basically I had it come down in three kind of three points so we'll put that one there and then there's a bud up here that's kind of a teardrop bud. So you just do the same thing basically. You just put the base down. Okay, let me see. Okay, so we're going to have, let me turn this around so I can see. Okay, we're going to have that come down over here, offset just a little bit. And I'm going to try and do it upside down. Hopefully that will work. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. And like I said, you're going to have to kind of, uh, oh, sorry, the phone. You're going to have to kind of, can I see? And your paint quality would probably look better than that. But anyway, you get the general idea. And then we're doing a bud up towards the opposite offset the opposite direction and we'll just do the bud in kind of a tear shape so like that okay okay and then we're gonna we're gonna add our dark color next let's see if that other one's dry because actually we need to do a flower in that other so let's go see if we can go back on this one 
I think it's dry enough we could do our flower base on this one now. So we're going to basically do the same kind of thing, except it's a smaller, you know, you have to do it smaller in there. But we're doing the same colors. And let me see. And basically, yeah. Okay. So I think I'm going to use this little, the smaller detail brush for this one because it is smaller space that we have. And I think we're going to kind of do it like that, kind of like that, kind of like that. Okay, let me see. So maybe a little bit more. Uh, maybe a little bit more there, a little bit more there, a little bit more there. So you're just making a base. Um, if you wanted to take up more of that area, but we are going to do a bud in here. So I don't, so I want to leave it so we have a space for a bud. So I think I'll go ahead and do the bud up here, there. And so, okay. All right. So, you know, it doesn't look like much, I know, but hopefully it's going to be pretty when we get done. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll let that dry for a minute, and then we're going to go back over with the other one, and we're going to use our darker one now. So this is kind of a raspberry pink, and um, so I'm going to go back to that short liner brush, and I'm going to add in some dark. Now, actually, I think I'm going to put some down on my on my lid and add some water so that it'll, you know, spread easier. Okay, so now we're just going to kind of add in some dark, you know, so that we have some contrast and just kind of, you know, gives it kind of a shadow. Okay. okay. Let me look at a second. Gotta be careful, I don't get too much water in here. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more there. And then we want to add, so our little bud is up here, it's a little teardrop. And so we're just going to add a little dark towards the pointy, the tip part, just a little bit, just a little, you know, a little dot like um, to it. And then we're going to add some down here on this one too. We want some of the dark down here. Okay, so let me look at it this way. I'm going to add a little bit down at this little part I'm missing up here. So see, it doesn't look like much still. <laughs> I sure hope it's going to look good. It's really different doing it this direction. Okay, so um, now we're going to add a little bit of white. Let me check my other one though because it would be nice to be able to let this one dry. Okay. So we're going to add some of the dark again on this one. This is our doily one. And let's see, I think we'll go, you know, just kind of add a little bit around like that. And maybe just a little touch right there. And you're just going to give it some shadowing. Just some texture and I want a little bit more in the center part right there so that it's on the center also and then our little bud same thing as the other little bud just a little dot of the dark up at the top there you go 
and then we'll try and give this a minute to dry too. We actually could probably do our green, go ahead and do our green and then do our white afterwards. Let's do that. So we're going to do kind of a sage green um, just to add a little greenery. Um, and I'm going to use my little, um, you know, detail brush. Now this one's by Light Elegance and it's called a gel art brush. And so we're going to go ahead and do that with the green, the sage green. And so I'm going to add a little bit. Okay, so here is our bud up at the top. So we're going to add some leaves. Hopefully I can do this right. Okay, you see, I hope. And then we're going to add some just little, little kind of, oops, I don't want to get that too thick there. Kind of brush strokes, like just kind of like little lines, little one, two, three lines. Hope you can see that. Okay. And then we're I'm just gonna kind of go around it, I think, and do that. Just like three little swipes. Just kind of little then one, two, three. Oops, sorry. Oh dang it. Um, all right, let's try it this way. Let's go this way. See if you can see it, I hope. Go one, two, three. Knock on it to hold it up way high. So doing this part. So I don't know if you can see those. I hope you can see those little green swipes on there. That's in the sage green. Let me see. And we need some over on this side here, right down there. So I'm going to turn it this way and we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, just, there we go. Just like that. Really easy. So we did that in the sage green and now we're going to go and do it in the dark. Right? Right, just a line, you know, kind of on it but not covering the whole thing. Okay. So let me make sure I didn't get too much on here because these are pretty small lines. And so we're just going to do right, you know, part of it. Just kind of add to it a little dark. Okay. Just as careful as you can. Just a little there. A little to our leaves with our just a little bit. I hope you can see that. See how I just added a little dark to the light green. And then we're going to go around and just teeny bit next to all those little lines. Just almost like a shadow or you know to it. Okay, so I don't know if I can, oops, I hit the flower. I couldn't see it. All right, that's okay. So we're going to just hit those other lines, hit those lines. Okay, so that gives us right there some contrast. Okay, and then, um, okay, so that looks good there. So let's go ahead and do our other one. Add to our other one, the green. And on that one, um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the sage. And we're just going to add, you know, little leaves, like around our, same thing with our little, except a, maybe a stem and the leaves around our little bud, like that. I hope you can see that. And then we're going to just keep, you know, just do some more. Just some little, um, I don't know, the little leaves coming out from our, you can do them really tiny, you can do them bigger. I'm just going to do it around our flower. That stem on here. And then we'll also add a little leaf 
on that side. So there's that. And now we're going to go back and add some of the dark. I know this is going to be a long video, sorry, but this is real time. So I'm adding a little bit of that dark line like that. And on all those little teeny leaves that we added, we're going to go over and just do it to give it a shadow. Like that. All right, let's see. Did I do it to all of them? Yes, I did. So all of them have a little bit of a dark shadowing to them. Okay, it's starting to kind of come alive a little bit here. All right, and then the next thing we're going to want to do is we want to add some white. And we're going to add a little bit of white. Add a little water to it. And we're going to add that to our flower to give it a little bit of, you know, light reflection, a little highlight. And so we're just going to do kind of a little squiggly line around it. Kind of just, you know, kind of like that. Let me look at it a second. Okay. And then kind of there too. Let's see. Okay, and I think I need some more white. So I think we're going to add maybe a little bit more, a little bit more there. Okay. And then um, if we wanted more, a little more shadow, we could add a little more white there, a little more white there. Um, and then we need to add some white down here. I hope you can see. Down here also. Okay. And then we need to add just a teeny white up on our bud. So our bud's right here. We're just going to add a little teeny there. Little, oops, I'm sorry. A little teeny highlight right there on our bud. Okay. So let me see. I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> pretty good considering. So we'll let that dry a minute, um, and then actually let's go ahead and do the dots on this one. And we're going to do the big dots, so, so you can see, see the big dots on here? That's what we're going to do. We're just going to add some big dots around here, just kind of, let me see, just kind of random. So like maybe, I don't know, six, seven, whatever you want to do. I wouldn't do too much, but, you know, however much you want to. So just kind of wherever you want to. So let me see if we need to add any more. And like I said, it's going to depend on how big your nail is, too, you know, and how much you're going to want to add. I think that's enough. Um, I think it looks really pretty. So well, let's put this over here and let it dry, if I do say so myself, considering... <laughs> All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna put add some of that detail white now on this little rose here on these roses. So we're gonna let me add a little bit of water, putting a little bit of white, and all these colors are all just craft paint. It's just acrylic craft paint. Okay, so on this one here, we're gonna do the same kind of thing. We're just gonna do kind of a squiggly white around there. See? And you can do it as fine or not as you want. And I'm going to add just a little bit more there. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit on our bud. So right to closer to the base of the bud. Uh, like that. If you can see it, I hope. Right up here. A little bit of white. And I think that's pretty much it um, on that one. Oop, let me cover up that where I got that green spot on that flower. Let's do that too. Right there. So let's see, maybe a little more. 
And if you wanted to add in some light pink back in there, you know, to give it even more, a little more dimension, you could do that too. And if you wanted to add a little more dark in your center, so it gives it more, you know, depth, um, you know, you can do that too. You know, if you want it to be a little bigger also. You know, like that. You can do that. And then uh, we could do the same thing on our other one. Add a little bit more of the, the raspberry, dark raspberry pink right here in the center. That gives it a little bit more, a little more depth even. Like that, put some more back in there. And like I said, if you want to add some more, another, you know, shade of pink back in there, you could do that too. I think that um, we better quit while we're ahead because it's already pretty long. So right now I would just let them dry and then just put some top coat. You could do Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat if you wanted to, but since it's hand painted, you don't have to. You could just do, you know, even any kind of top coat, whatever your favorite top coat is, but make sure it dries all the way so that it doesn't, you know, smudge. And I think I'm just going to let these these two dry. You can see uh, these two have a top coat on them, shiny. You could do matte also. Um, I did matte on mine. Anyway, love this Manny. It's been so fun, really pretty, really easy, and I hope that helps. I hope you could see it well enough. So I hope you have fun doing it also. Thanks so much. I'm going to do another one pretty soon, so please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon at the top so that you'll get a notice on my next new tutorial, which will be really soon. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.